hello. I'm like, oh, I gotta fix my hair. I fluffed it. I'm like all about the fluffing and I, I fluffed it funny, so sorry. <laughs> hello, oh my gosh, I'm like a crazy lady today. So how is everybody? Welcome to Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. It's gonna be another awesome day. I'm already like, do I have my phone? I think everything's good. And I think I'm on the right place. So I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes for people to kind of hop on and say hello. There's Wendy, good. Okay, I think I'm in the right place. I always worry, that happened the other night at our group gathering, I got on this Facebook group and was gonna start the live here instead of over on our other Facebook group. Philomena, hello, how are you? Thank you for playing bingo with us last night. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed that as well. Um, yeah, so we had a great, we, um, I was kind of trying to incorporate a couple of things. Sandra, good morning, how are you doing? So I know people had said, you know, long distance people, hey, are you ever gonna do like an online bingo? And I really wasn't sure how much, um, you know, like truly people were gonna be able to. And you know, you never know, the night doesn't always work for everybody. But so I had just a couple of people that were able to do online bingo last night. And then in addition, I had um, a group of gals that had wanted to come to the live bingo event that I did back in January, but that day didn't work for them. So we kind of found a date that worked for them and then I put it out there for the online side. So it was kind of one of those, thank you, Philomena, I'm glad you had a good time. Um, but it was weird for me, because usually like I'm here right now in my house like talking to my camera and there's nobody else around but last night I'm trying to you know do an online bingo and then like out like beyond me there's this whole table of people that are playing bingo too so it's easy to not feel like super self-conscious like when you're here all alone but when you have like a group of people watching you do that too it felt kind of funny so but anyway I think it was a good way because it, it gave me enough numbers because basically if you don't have enough people playing you don't have to, enough money to get like awesome bingo prizes so um Basically, I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna combine both of the things and kind of try the bingo online. And I think that went well. The only thing I do need to remember is to clear the boards after each game. That was one thing. Cause I started thinking, gosh, you know, we played bingo for a while and somebody got a bingo and then we kept going with the boards and what everybody had, you know, already gotten on their boards and it was gonna go like in a couple minutes, I think. And that's part of the fun is like, you know, playing bingo for a little while, right? In the anticipation of who's gonna get the next bingo. So we figured that out part way in. I've got that, I understand that now. Um, so yeah, it's going well, Wendy. How are you doing this morning? It's another, so it's Friday at 11.30 and it's beautiful and sunny. I, that's what, like the joke is now. If you wanna get a suntan, come to Alma at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on every Friday and you can get a suntan because the sun is always out. So it's kind of crazy. Um, what else is going on? We're heading to, Lily and I, my daughter, are heading to Toledo, Ohio after school today. She has a dance competition down there for the weekend. So she's getting all ready for that. This is her second one. You know, you kind of do that first one, get your feet wet, get back into the swing of things. And I'm still always amazed. I mean, these kids do solos, like one person up on a huge stage in front of lots and lots of people and lots of judges, and they get up there and they do their thing. They, I mean, they practice a lot, you know, so I think that helps. And I know there are some nerves, but it's mind boggling to me that these young girls can get up there and do that. I like kudos to them for being able to. So it's fun to watch. Hi, Marianne, how are you doing? Um, yeah, so we're doing that. And then my son, Cade, so I thought he had his last uh, JV basketball game last night, which I wasn't able to go to because we were playing bingo and I was kind of bummed about that. I mean, I love bingo, but I love to watch him play basketball. And it turns out um, he had to go into school early this morning and his coach wanted to talk to him and he and another one of his good buddies got moved up to the varsity team and the, you know it's kind of a formality but they're going into district play next week so potentially he could play a little bit more basketball on the varsity team so i'm excited about that the only thing is the first district game is next tuesday when i have scrapbook class so i'm like okay you guys have to win that game so you can go to the next one so i can watch the next one so that's what's going on in the world here, right? So yeah, I know, I'm excited for him too, Marianne. He works really, really, really hard. Loves basketball, so it's good. It keeps him out of other trouble because <laughs> from what I'm hearing these days, there's lots of other uh, ways to spend your time. So I'm glad he's at the gym dribbling all the time, dribbling and shooting and working on moves. And so yeah, 
Um, okay, I think we are ready. I've kind of rambled a little bit. We've got some people on here. Hi, Nikki. Yay, you're here. So my bingo ladies are here. Nikki and Philomena playing bingo with us last night. So thank you guys. And if you wouldn't mind, maybe just make a quick comment. I'm hoping to encourage more people to play online bingo with me. I'm going to work on another date so that we can get that set up. Um, I don't know. I have to think about when. I don't know how often people want to do that. So maybe let me know how often you like to play bingo too, and we'll get another bingo night set up. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, we are going to draw for, this is the striped metallic ribbon. Thanks, Philomena, for the congratulations. Um, so black and then that kind of silver stripe. Awesome, like kind of masculine ribbon. Thank you, Nikki. I'm glad you had a good time at Bingo. Um, so this is what we're drawing for today. And I have all of the names in the drawing here. So we, uh, as usual, you get one entry for commenting on Facebook Live, three entries if you share the video. Oops, I dropped one, hold on one sec. Make sure that you um, put a comment so when you, oh, I hear, you know it's on my nose, <laughs> it's bugging me. Um, make sure you comment, put a comment on there when you share too, that's how you get your name in here. If you just share and you don't comment, then I think people are less likely to pay attention to it, honestly. Um, so I'd love for you to just say a little something about the stamping or whatever we have going on. So make sure you do that. You also get another three entries. My random pick this week was Thursday. So anybody that commented or shared any post on Thursday got your name in the drawing another three times. Also, if you signed up for my email list, so if you're brand new to YouTube or Facebook, um, the Facebook group or Facebook Live. And then I actually, I saw, because my random day was Thursday, I thought, you know what, if anybody posts anything on the random day that I pick, you're gonna get another three entries. So lots and lots and lots of ways. Um, oh, let's see, what's Brandy, Wendy saying? I believe I saw your son in a basketball. Yes, yep, so Brandon is his next door neighbor. Brandon F is his next door neighbor. And yep, they were in a picture, I think, I don't know, Facebook or Instagram. Instagram. I was just peeking at that. So yeah, they're, oh my gosh, it's fun. It's so fun to watch your kids, you know, have fun doing what they love. Okay. So yeah. So anyway, so back to that Thursday random day that I picked. Sorry, that was probably really loud. I'm like all excited today. I think because the sun is shining and I'm heading out of town for a few days. So, you know, doing something different. Um, but so that Thursday, the random day that I picked, if you if you post, so anything that you're working on, if you post and I that random day, you're gonna get three more entries in the drawing as well. So, cause I love to see what everybody else is up to also. So, and thanks for the share, Philomena. I appreciate that. Uh, we love to find new stampers here, people that wanna hang out and, and share and craft with us. So thank you, I really love all of your sharing. Okay, so here we go. We're finally going to um, draw. Let me make sure I just have one piece of paper left in my hand. And oh, this is Miss Sally. Good for you. And Sally was the person that posted that project that she made. It was a cute Z fold card. And so, yeah, so she got super. Look at that. So, when you post, if I pick that random day, you get three more entries. So, Sally um, wins the ribbon, the black and silver striped metallic ribbon. So, Sally, I will have this for you at scrapbook class on Tuesday. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, so let's see. You guys, I have, I think this is like a hot item now because it's already sold out. So hopefully you got these, the butterfly elements, the wooden butterfly elements. This is one of those free items that you can get during celebration with a $50 order. But Sam and I've just posted that these sold out. So now the only way you can get these, right, is if you comment or share or sign up for my email list or post a picture, get your name in the drawing next Friday, and you could win these butterfly elements. So I have to, I was kind of looking at this because I've opened up a few of my packs and I want to show you guys if you haven't really seen. So they've got the big butterflies with all the detail. And actually, can you tell like the really big ones are like kind of an outline. So you can use that whole thing or you can use the inside with the detail and then just the outline separately. So you get two sheets of those butterflies and then you're going to get two sheets, and I've used a few, but you kind of get the idea, smaller butterflies and flowers and some leaves. And then there's yet another one little sheet of just those flowers also. So yeah, two, well, basically it's like five wooden sheets all together. Um, so yeah, I'll pick that winner next week and we'll get those sent out to you. Um, also, what else? I have to look at my list here. 
Yeah, so those wooden butterfly elements, thank you guys for the shares, have sold out, as well as the foil sheets, which they mentioned that those were kind of getting low inventory. So the lovely lipstick and grapefruit grow foil sheets have sold out. You can't get those any longer um, free, you know, with a um, $50 order. And the other thing is that um, it's called the Precious Parcel Card Kit. That one has sold out during celebration as well. So, you know, we have the new items. There are still lots of good things to choose from, but those three have sold out, so you can't get those any longer, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys got them before they did sell out. And hello, Miss Kim Klein, how are you? Glad you can be here with us. Um, so the other thing I wanna make sure, because last Friday I was talking about the celebration, the organdy, the five ribbon combo pack. They had posted that the estimated availability date was this past Monday, the 18th, but something must have happened. They didn't really say what happened, but I just checked the inventory report while well, Monday. I checked it and they have already moved the um, estimated availability date out to March 4th now. So they always say estimated. So unfortunately that February 18 date was not a good date. It's probably, you know what, the Chinese New Year, um, shipping from China, um, getting stuck in customs somewhere, something has happened. So it's it's on its way and when it gets here, they'll let us know. So again, if you guys really want that ribbon, the five pack, do I have that? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? But sometimes I forget that I get new people on here too. So I should probably clarify. So this ribbon, the those five bolts of ribbon in the organdy ribbon combo pack are free with a $50 order. So what I'm doing is I'm taking orders from people. If you even want to like stock up on basic stuff, it's a great time to do it, right? Get some extra card stock, some envelopes, some adhesives, some dimensionals. Send me your order. Just email me what you want to order and then um, I'll get you this celebration item. So as soon as it's available, I can kind of stockpile those orders and as soon as I know this ribbon is available, because I'll probably be a little bit more on top of it. I don't know. Some of you guys are really on top of things too, but I'll make sure to get that order in and get that ribbon for you. So just let me know. Um, yeah. Hi Rosa. How are you doing? And Kim, it looks like, um, oh, I will take, I did kind of see that real quick. Um, late last night, um, I was busy with bingo and trying to prep for this. So I haven't had a chance to respond to a couple people. So Kim, I will get back to you today, later today, um, before I head out of town. Um, Okay, yeah, so if you want that ribbon, just send me a $50 order and I'll get that ribbon for you as soon as it's available, okay? Um, and hopefully it's before March 4th. I, I don't know, maybe they put that date out like a while, hopefully thinking, you know, be here sooner than that, so. Okay, so you guys, I didn't have any online orders again last week. Oh my goodness, I'm kind of like, gosh, maybe I haven't been offering very good stuff, so. I am ramping it up. I'm gonna tell you guys what is available. So if you put um, at least a $30 order in online between now and next Wednesday, you are gonna get your name in the drawing to win. These are the awesome, the Hop Around Framelits dies that coordinate with that So Hoppy Together, the cute froggies. Oh my gosh, I've seen so many fun projects with these little froggies, right? So on the framelits, they have, well, they have framelits to cut out. Let me go this way. You know, it's Friday and there's a glare. Um, so this little froggy, the guy on the, is it a unicycle? And then the little, little dude like waving. So they've got framelits for those three. And then they also have, if you guys can see, there's like a lily pad right there. And then some other, I don't know, other like lily pad type of, I don't know, what are those? Um... You guys tell me, I don't know. Other things that look like they go with frogs and floating in the water, right? And then there's actually a little thing that you can cut the crown. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it cuts everything out on here actually. So there are the little, those three little guys right there that cut out the three little bumblebees. And then there's the little butterfly that is, sorry, that one right there. And yeah, then the crown. So the crown right there is that little framelit right there. So an awesome set of framelits. You cannot get these right now unless you're a demonstrator. You are gonna be able to. So if, you, if you're a demonstrator, you can order these right now. If you're a customer, you can start ordering these on March 1st. But like I said, I'm gonna give one pack of the Hop Around Framelits away with next week's uh, Facebook Live 
put your minimum $30 order on. I'll give you the host code in just a few minutes. And then you also get the projects that I demonstrate too. So if you're new to Facebook Live, that's how it works every single week. Put a minimum $30 order in, your name goes in the drawing to get the free item that I'm giving away, and then you always get the projects. So, f oh, yes. Thank you, Sandra. They are flies, not bumblebees. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Thank you. You're cute, LOL. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, yeah, they are flies. You're right, but they have like these super big buggy eyes, I think. Maybe that's what, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so the flies, not the bumblebees, but they're really cute anyway. So thank you, Sandra. I'm glad for the clarification. Um, oh, because frogs eat flies. Yeah, yeah, okay. See, you're just so much smarter than I am. I can't keep up on all these things. Plus, like actually my brain goes, like when I'm on Facebook Live, I really can't think very well at all. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's because my mouth is running a mile a minute. It's like my brain is like, whoa, slow down. So, okay, let's see. What's next? Oh, right, let me make sure. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so my spring crafting weekend... <laughs> Yeah, that's something you would have said too. Um, they're upside, yeah, oh, all right. What is she saying? They're upside down on the picture. The eyes are in front. Oh, I gotcha. They are buggy, buggy eyes. They're really cute though. They are really, really cute. Um, okay, so this spring crafting weekend, I'm like putting a plea out there because the friend of mine, Melissa and I, we don't have that many people signed up and we're kind of freaking out because we've already, you know, we reserved the, the room, um, like the conference room for the weekend. And so, you know, we've already committed to make that payment. So we're trying to cover our costs basically. So if anybody has any interest in joining us, the spring crafting weekend is March 15th through the 17th. Um, RSVPs are technically due today, this Friday, but I'm gonna extend, because I, I basically, I have to have enough time to order the goodie bags for everybody. So I'm gonna extend the deadline to March 4th. So if you're interested, if you have any questions at all, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on what the weekend is like. Um, but I would love for you guys, um, come hang out with me for the weekend. We have so much fun. Basically, you can stay in your PJs all weekend long if you want, which I know based on my that post I did a couple weeks ago, I'm not the only one that does that on occasion. <laughs> embarrassingly enough to say so right when I'm busy it's like why bother like brushing my hair or like getting dressed I might as well just get up and start working right <laughs> so okay March 15th through the 17th if you want to come for the whole weekend it starts Friday at 4 p.m. and it goes all the way until Sunday at 2 p.m. and this is everything that you get so there is a six foot table space that's all your own you can do all your crafting on it you get a goodie bag valued at $50 in product we do stamping demonstrations we have make and takes for you to do they're out Friday night and all day Saturday I think until probably even like 10 o'clock on Sunday so whenever you need a break from what you're working on you can come do the make and takes we bring all of our stuff too. So we bring all of our stamp sets, all of our punches, all of our big shot accessories and our big shots. And we bring our ink pads and our ink refills and our markers. So you have access to all this stuff that you can play with. So maybe if you don't have it in your craft room, come play with my craft room basically for the weekend, right? And then let's see what else. Oh, coffee and tea service. We There are five meals included in your weekend and then we always make cute treats we give like little pillow gifts throughout the weekend so it is an awesome awesome weekend there's also a one day like a saturday day only option or if you just can only come for one night too so please come hang out with us we need to cover our like i said our deposit and our costs on the room so i'd love to have anybody that's interested if you have any questions let me know um, I can't tell you, I mean, I think I've said it a million times, but I always thought these weekends were kind of crazy. Like I couldn't imagine doing this, like kind of confined all weekend long. Now, like I, two weekends a year isn't enough. Like I have so much I want to do and so much you can get done that I want to do it more often than that. So let me know if you're interested. Um, let's see what else. Ooh, okay, do you guys wanna see? So we had our group gathering, our Inkspired Stampers. I know if you lived closer, I wish you could come too, Marianne. And that's the thing, I know not a lot of people are in the area, but it's well worth the money to come do this because there's just so much fun to be had all weekend long. 
Um, okay, so we had our Inkspired Stampers group gathering earlier this week, and we um, always do swapping at it. And I thought, I've got to show you guys, because I'm not sure. Nikki, I wish you lived closer, or at least <laughs> in the time zone. I gotcha. Yeah, I know that would be kind of handy, wouldn't it? Um, okay, so these are the swap cards that I received. And I apologize, because I'm not sure if I grabbed every single one of them. I grabbed what I knew for sure because I ran over to the studio because I was so excited to like display them that I put them all out amongst all my other swaps and everything. And then I went back this morning and was trying to figure out what were the swap cards that we got just the other day. So see, my brain's like crazy. But this one I love, I believe, and now I'm really going to test myself. I think Sunday made this card. So we've got the, so happy to have you in my life. And she colored it with her um, that is Highland Heather card base, so I'm sure it's her Highland Heather stamp and blends marker. And then the butterflies. I think maybe she said she even hand cut those butterflies because I don't think she has that punch, which you cannot order right now. It's going to be coming in shortly. And then this is cool. I love, so that ribbon that I just gave away to Sally, she used some of that black and silver ribbon. I think that's what really caught my eye because I hadn't thought to use that ribbon with that paper, but with the black accents, it works perfectly. And then of course there are some of those little sequins. So that was a great card from Sunday. And then this one is fun. So this is all geared up to celebrate. It says, this is a card that Kim made because her husband is turning 50. Maybe he even turned 50 yesterday, so he's 50 in a day now. And I think she said his hot rod is this color, so that's why she colored that in too. And then those little cogs there also. So that was another awesome swap card. And then this one is beautiful with the T. The tea, um, oh, is it tea time stamp set or tea time tea? I don't know, the framelits. Um, I can't remember the names of them. But so the stamp set is in the occasions catalog. And then the framelits um, are one of those freebies that you can get with a $100 order during celebration. And I love, so I, well, I love this paper too. Mm, is that, what is that designer series paper? I want to say Petal Promenade, but I'm really not sure if that's it. And I love, can, I'm going to try to get really close. She die cut one of those stitched label framelits. Can you guys see it? It looks like a doily, like, you know, one of the pretty little doilies that you might have at a tea, at a tea party. And then the best part is on the inside. Do you see this? So she did some stamping and the sentiment. And then this right here is um, die cut with, I'm not even sure what framelit now that I'm looking at it, but it, it's a gift card holder. So this is like a little pocket kind of a thing that opens. I'm trying to do it and like show you guys, which is hard to do. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, you can slip a gift card right in there and then write your sentiment and what a cute card, huh? So that was Karen. Karen did this card for us in the swap. And then I believe this one was from Wendy. And now I'm trying to remember. I share, or um, I don't have Sharon's swap and I don't have Nancy's. I feel like maybe there's, I'm missing somebody else too, but I apologize. So this is the last swap that I saw and I believe Wendy did this card. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they, Marianne? So Wendy used her Stampin' Blends to color in that beautiful flower. Yeah, it was cut with a punch, wasn't it? I'm sure it was, I just can't remember which one right now. Um, yeah, beautiful coloring. I love how I love how she did that. So stamped in black and then um, kind of traced around the outline with one of her Stampin' Blends, like a darker one. I love that look. Um, so just another beautiful card. Love all the detail on that. And then kind of in conjunction with that stamp, this one caught my eye. This is actually a swap from Ellen Boyle is her name. Um, and she's Ellen B. Stan no, that's her email, so that wouldn't help you at all. Oh, my goodness. Upside, oh, it is. Is everybody else? Victoria is saying it's upside down and backwards. Oh, the card, maybe? It's definitely backwards because I can't. So, Victoria, just so you know, because things do look backwards when I hold them up here, because when I move my phone down and I do my stamping down on my table, if I flip it right now, I can't like unflip it as far as I know in the middle of the video and I really want you guys to be able to see the stamping so up here is backwards but hopefully it's not upside down somebody else tell me guys if this is upside down or not hopefully I don't think I was holding it upside down <laughs> I'm not sure this one um maybe this way 
No, I think it goes this way. So I'm not sure if you're talking about it's okay. Good, Marianne. You're saying it's not upside down. Victoria, maybe it's your phone or computer or something. You might want to flip things around a little bit too and see if that helps you. Um, okay, so this card, like I said, this was a swap that I got um, from another swap that I participated in earlier this year, and I love, I love that flower. So she cut that flower out, and I love those are yeah i was trying to see if they had the stitching on them so those are the rectangle stitched framelits she just did two of them so they kind of look like picture frames almost and i love that and then there's some of the um really fine silver thread you can kind of see it on there too but i love that one and then all the coloring with the blends too so lots of beautiful i've been wanting to kind of show you guys my swaps like throughout and now i'm trying to figure out which ones have I showed you already? Because I didn't like make a mark in any of them. So you might see one or two twice. I don't know. But then this one, because this, I think this stamp set has gotten no love. And honestly, it's not one that I'm really drawn to, but I loved this swap. So this is one of those, maybe I do need the stamp set after all. So this is, let me make sure that I get the name of it. And maybe you guys are enjoying it. If you are, I'd love to see what you've come up with. But the Lovely Lattice um, stamp set. This is another one of those free celebration items with a $50 order. Yep, the Lovely Lattice, okay? So let me show you this card. This was another swap from Suzanne Taylor. So look at, is that, I don't know. Is that better? Maybe I should be on that side, huh? Um, yeah, so lots of really pretty details. She colored that in also with her, I think it was probably her stamp and blends, maybe a pool party, I'm thinking, maybe an old olive or a pear pizzazz. And then she actually cut, I love how she, this is a fussy cut, she fu cut that flower out and then popped it up on dimensionals so that Maybe that side is better, huh? Yeah, they are lovely cards, aren't they? And Hello Beautiful with some of the silver and white baker's twine too which i haven't used it's funny how like you know we get so focused on the occasions catalog and then i see products from our annual catalog that i've kind of like pushed to the side and it makes me want to get back into those too so beautiful card that's a great idea for you if you have that lovely lattice stamp set that you would have gotten free with your 50 dollars order and then this other one that oh my gosh this makes me want to make this card like right this minute because I think it's so cute. This is a swap from Stephanie Mangus. And can you see, I don't know, I think maybe is that side better? Yeah, so it's the little doggy. He's so cute with the punch. And then of course the gingham and then the color combination, right? That purple and yellow. Highland Heather and Daffodil Delight is so cute. Perfect springy one, right? It says, a best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. And then she actually, this is good use of, so if you have any of your foil sheets, she just punched one of those little baby hearts that is a part of the dog builder punch also has a little heart on it so that's one of the grapefruit grove foil sheets you kind of can't even see that in there but i love that one too so and this makes me like okay i need to break that stamp set and punch out and get playing with it so yeah, if you guys have any cards that you have made lately, I would love to see them. You know, like I mentioned earlier, I do that random day that I pick um, to go in the drawing. So post as much as you would like. And if the random day that I pick, you post it on there, you get three more entries in that drawing to get. What am I giving away? Oh, those butterfly elements. Yeah, so I love that sentiment too, Miriam. Okay, let's see. I think... Oh, one more quick thing I want to tell you guys about, and then we are going to, let me check my time, we're going to get to our stamping in just a minute. So I know I have told you guys about the celebration celebration party, basically, that I do every year. So I do it after celebration, basically as a thank you for all of your like love and support throughout celebration, right? So you have three different ways to earn your spot into the celebration celebration party or event, right? So the first way is if you host a private party or class, um, you know, I don't know, we could probably figure out how to do it online if there's anybody that wants to do it long distance. We did that Facebook Live last night, so I'm sure I could figure something out. We could do like make and takes and I can like demonstrate them on the Facebook Live or something. Um, so if you're not local, we could do that, right? Um, or if you are local, just get friends together. Basically, anybody that you like to hang out with, get them together and let's stamp together. If you have um, a party with at least $250 in sales, you're going to earn your spot in the celebration celebration. 
and you also get $50 in free stuff. So you guys know that, right? They like bumped up the host rewards during celebration. Normally with a $250 order, you get 10% host benefits or $25, but they kick in another $25 free. So you get $50 for free with a $250 party. So Philomena, you're, are you in? Do you wanna do a party? Let me know. We just have, basically you just have to find maybe like six or so friends that want to get together and stamp and I'll put make and takes together and send them out to you and we'll have our party. So yeah, let me know if you're interested. We can email back and forth about that and get those details figured out. So that's one way, basically have a party with sales of at least $250 plus $250 in orders also means um, five free celebration items, right? The $50 ones, okay? The other way to earn your spot is if you haven't already bought the starter kit, if you do that, which is such an awesome deal, right? You pick $175 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. So basically here in Michigan, because we're 6% sales tax, it's $104.94. You get $175 in stuff. You get a paper pumpkin kit that's valued at like over $20. Plus you get all your business supplies, which basically means catalogs that you can hand out to everybody and say, hey, if you see anything in here that you like, let me know and I'll order it for you. And then that helps you meet your um, quarterly minimum. If you don't meet that, it's a $300 quarterly minimum. If you don't meet that, basically your demo ID drops and nothing else off will happen. So there's no, people always really worry about um, like the commitment after the fact. And they're, if you want to, great, because you get 20% off of all your orders, right? But you don't have to. And no one is going to drive you crazy about like putting those orders in. So yeah, it's awesome, why not? So get the starter kit, come to Celebration Celebration. The third way you can earn your spot into the party is if you spend at least $150 through me during Celebration. So I have my little spreadsheet because I am an accountant too, so I started back on January third or whenever celebration started and anybody that's put orders in, I'm keeping track and when you get to $150, you automatically earn your spot in the celebration celebration. So what do we do at this awesome party? Oops. Okay. I have to, I got a text, so I got to swipe that. Sorry, my hand was in the way, but I think it goes away eventually, but I can't, I can't wait that long. Okay. So this is what happens at this awesome party. We, I spoil you, basically. We have snacks and treats. You can kind of hang out and visit with everybody. I bring out my buy one, get one free stuff. So I have all my retired product that I can't really show any longer because we don't sell it. So I sell that, I sell my retired product. You can get new or like current annual or occasions catalog product for free. Um, we do sneak peeks of, cause hopefully, and I'm kind of, that's why I'm kind of waiting to like set the date for sure on it. Um, because Stampin' Up! will start releasing like new annual catalog stuff. So I wanna make sure I can get some of that. So you can get like sneak peeks at new stuff and we'll do make and takes with those. Um, we do other stamping. I have gifts for everybody. We play games and prizes. It's just an awesome, like thank you so much for another great celebration. So those are the ways you earn your spot. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love, and online too. If you order online, I keep track of all those orders from online as well. So if you're not local to me, I will send you everything that everybody gets that comes locally. I will send that, I'll mail that out to you as a thank you. So let me know, again, if you have any questions at all, okay? All right, I think I've gotten through everything that I wanted to kind of show, yeah, talk to you guys about this way. So turn your heads away. I have to make sure we find my, here we go. I was trying to make sure my grid paper and um, the host code. And I can already tell the table is gonna go for a ride. I can't do it here because I don't want you guys to see the rest of the house because it's probably a mess. So <laughs> I have to stand here right now. We're gonna move the camera. So turn your heads away and then I think I'm gonna slide the table a little bit. So bear with me one sec. Okay, hold on. All right, so now you're looking at the ceiling or my hair or whatever, right? Okay, so there is that host code. Hold on, I'm gonna get the chair out of the way. <laughs> okay, so we're going that way and one more push. Watching, watching, watching. Okay, I think we are good. Okay. All right, so there is the host code. If you use this, the ZZJYG9NU. 
put your at least a $30 order in by next Wednesday. You're going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate next. And your name goes in the drawing to win those hop around framelits. So now they're not backwards. I think was it Victoria who was um, saying that? That yeah. So Victoria, now hopefully everything should be right side up, not upside down or inside out or whatever. <laughs> hopefully, anyway. Okay, the only other thing, let me make sure. Yep, I wanted to tell you guys, oh yeah. So today is the last day to RSVP for the How Sweet It Is class to go. So it features the Sweetest Thing stamp set, the Jar of Sweets framelits, and then also included in the class is a bolt of the, this is, I keep, I don't know why I always wanna say Calypso Coral, it's the CC, because I know this is Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green, that ribbon, right? So all of those things are included. There are different options. I won't go through those because the link, I'm gonna post that. It's right on the um, Facebook group and on the business page. Um, so if you have any interest, basically you're gonna get two of each of these. You're gonna make two of each of these projects, okay? Get all the parts and pieces. I cannot do your stamping for you, so make sure you do have the Sweetest Things stamp set um, or something else that you can use that would make pretty cards too, right? We will cut your framelit pieces if you do not order those. Um, in the kit, you will definitely get a bolt of ribbon because we use a bunch of that. And yeah, so today's the last day, a bunch of different options there. Let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in getting, I mean, look at that paper. I just love, and the ribbon too. I love everything about these cards. They're gonna be fabulous birthday cards to send out. So let me know if you would like to get a to-go kit or the tutorial too. That one is always available. It's $15 for any of my PDF tutorials. And those are available even after the RSVP deadline has passed. And let's see, what is Mary Ann saying? It's my belief that if you're a crafter, you have the perfect excuse for a messy house. <laughs> yes, okay, well, thank you. Good, that's licensed to, um, yeah. I Cause you know, there are a lot more fun things to do, right, than clean your house. Like be creative, right? Okay, um, oh, you know what I forgot to show you guys? I'll show you these. Um, these were the make and takes. Yeah, I forgot to show you guys, but this is good. Then it won't be backwards. So this was one of the make and takes that we made um, at Bingo last night. And this was a card. So actually both of these cards I'm going to show you. When I went to the leadership convention with Rhonda Wade a couple weeks ago, there were so many great displays. Of course, I take a million pictures and I come home and the ones that like really jump out at me, I'm like, okay, we have to make those cards. So this was one of the cards. I think Rhonda actually designed this card or kind of some version of it. But it uses that incredible like you stamp set. I mean, I just love that flower, right? And then um, the hope your day is as amazing as you with that pink and white variegated ribbon. I did do a YouTube video. So if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll have already probably seen this card has been uploaded. If you haven't seen it, um, check it out and then make sure you hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel because then you'll always know what I'm up to with other um, stamping tutorials that I put together. And then this is the other one that we made. I think that Tammy Ackerson designed this card. I think that's who I cased it from. Um, it's not always clear to me what because I, I kind of sometimes forget where I even get my pictures from. But I loved, maybe I've shown this version, I can't remember, but I absolutely loved this tin tile embossing folder with this gorgeous grape cardstock. There was something about it. I it was like just one of those, oh my gosh, I have to emboss purple cardstock, which I would not have thought to do. And then with the beautiful lily and some of the polka dot tulle ribbon. So this was our other make and take from last night. So that kind of gives you an idea for online bingo. Um, the fun projects that we make. And in this case, so for online bingo, I sent all the parts and pieces to make these two cards. You do need the stamps or something. I try to keep the stamping pretty simple so that if you don't have these stamp sets, you can substitute something else that you have and still make cute projects with them. So that was bingo, so much fun. And let's see, hold on, let me make sure. Yeah, oh, I know, okay. So the other cards, um, we ha I've had a lot going on lately, I feel like. So online, no, we already talked about online bingo. Um, 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 what else did I have going on? My Inkspired Stampers group gathering, like I said, was earlier this week. So this is one of the make and takes that we made um, at our group gathering on Tuesday night. And it features, of course, right? I cannot stop playing with this. Do, have you guys gotten it yet? Free with your $100 order? I hope 
that you have. So you get that Painted Season stamp set and the Paint and Seasons Designer Series paper, which I didn't even actually use DSP on this card, but look, you can almost make your own DSP, right, with that beautiful flower, and I love those leaves. There's something about that leaf image that I'm really enjoying, and then those little polka dotty things. And then I actually used, and this, I think it fell in the ink a little bit, so disregard those little splotchies, but it says you have so much courage, strength, and bravery, and then if I get really, really close, I put one of those little heart epoxy droplets on there also. I feel like I have, let me make sure, I think I have the stamp set. Yeah, so this, this sentiment was from the More Than Words stamp set, right? Right? Yeah, where? Ooh, no, it's not, is it? Okay, I'm crazy. What's the other one? No, it is. There's bravery. I can't, I'm like, where is it? So there's the bravery. Yeah, you have so much courage, strength, and bravery. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't see bravery, and then I was like, oh, no, that's not the right stamp set. But this More Than Words stamp set is one of those. I have to make sure I have my facts straight here. Yeah, this is one of the celebration coordination items that you can order if you're a customer starting on March 1st. Um, and this actually shows all of the sentiments in actual size here too, right? Um, if you're a demonstrator, you can start ordering that already. And these are great. Most of these sentiments go with the other celebration um, stamp sets that we already have. Like I keep seeing that hopping by and jumping in works great with the So Hoppy Together stamp set. Okay, so yeah, so we made this card and then we also made, and this was one I cased uh, another, this was a swap card that was at the leadership convention and I didn't flip it over to see who made it because I just took a picture, so I don't even know who I cased it from, I apologize, but again, it uses some of that gorgeous designer series paper, I love those mushrooms, I think are so cute on there, and then I love the stamp, we did use the framelit to cut out that flower and that you are pretty much the best ever is from that all adorn let me see if i have that too sorry my floor is where did i move it my floor is super creaky oh yeah here we go the all adorned stamp set because i love this you are pretty much the best ever i have yet to play with these other images but i've seen so many cool ideas i'm like ready to break it out and play with all of these things. So well, you'll be seeing more of that stamp set soon too. And that is the other, in case you guys have forgotten what's what here, these were the second release celebration items. So you can get this all adorned stamp set for free with a $50 order right now. The other thing we used on this card is that embossing folder, the country floral embossing folder that is right here and you can see the detail on that card there too. And then there's that bundle with the Painted Season stamp set and DSP free with a $100 order. So those are all available right now. So make sure you put your order in, right? If you do that, if you put your order in, bump your order up to $50 because you get your free celebration item, right? And then you're gonna get your name in the drawing and the projects that we are gonna demonstrate right now. Okay, so as always, I'm like, which one do I wanna do first? I think we are going to do this baby first. So, <laughs> I love this designer series paper. I am loving this, the Painted Seasons designer series paper. So you can see this is kind of the wintry with like the pine sprigs, pine bows. And I did birthday wishes, but now I think like kind of with the, the color combination, I think there's a Christmas wishes there also. Louise, hello, how are you? Um, hopefully you enjoyed bingo last night too. It was great to have you on there with us. Um, okay, yeah, so this card, I want, I'm gonna change. Instead of birthday, there's a Christmas wishes sentiment. Let me make sure I have everything all over the place. I really am organized, but let's see, where did it go? Yeah, so here, this is the scent or the stamp set that I use. So the birthday and wishes, but we're gonna do Christmas wishes on this one. And Kim, yes, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. I did too. And then the other thing I did was I actually decided I want to try it with um, a different card base. So this one is Soft Suede versus the Early Espresso. So you can kind of see the difference. So you guys tell me which one you like better. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to get my grid paper out. Let me scoot, scoot that up. Okay. Let's make sure. 
I gotta, it's funny, this tells me like if I'm in view, right? There, okay. Mm, we're still not there. Now I'm in view. Okay, so what do we wanna do first? Let's do our stamping and then we'll do our die cutting. And I'm gonna give you measurements right now because we do have a number of pieces that you're gonna need to know measurement sizes for. So this is our soft suede slash early espresso card stock. Eight and a half by 11, cut in half at five and a half inches, scored along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, okay? So that's the card base. Then our designer series paper. This piece measures, yep, you guys are in view, okay. This one measures two and a half by four and a half, okay? And then this strip that has, oh yeah, it's got those little mushrooms on the back, right? This one measures one inch by five and a half inches, okay? And those are just strips. These pieces, this is Poppy Parade cardstock. Oh, yeah, you. that's awesome, Marianne, that you can make the Christmas cards and tags all year long. That's a great idea, so then you're not scrambling at the end of the year. So this is a great set for that too, obviously with the designer series paper. Okay, so this one measures two and a half by two and three quarters, and then the white layer that goes right inside there measures two and one quarter by two and a half. And then on the inside, I did, because I love those, um, uh, what are those called, pine cones? Those are called pine cones, yes. <laughs> I stamped those in the corner. So this white piece that goes on the inside measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So now we can do our stamping. All right, let me get my inks out here so I have what I need. Okay, these guys. Okay, K, 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 K. And that does say, oh, I did switch it to Christmas. I couldn't remember if I actually did that or not. You know what? I need to go grab my Stampin' Pierce mat. I don't have anything here that's going to be thick and squishy enough because this Wishes stamp. I want to make sure I tried to stamp without my pad the other day and it didn't stamp very well. So one sec, here I go. <laughs> and I got made fun of, ladies. I got made fun of at my meeting. They were teasing me about how I always forget something and I have to run off and get it and come back. I'm like, oh, it's the beauty of Facebook Live. It's not meant to be perfect, right? It's live and so you just like roll with it. So yeah, they're all teasing me. Okay, so in our chocolate chip ink, we are gonna stamp Christmas up at the top. I love, oh my gosh, look at the cursive on that. Don't you wish you could write like that? Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> okay, and then with the Call Me Clover ink, all right. Oh, with just, yeah. So Sandra, I think it's kind of like you would stamp it below, kind of like they're showing. If I had an extra piece, maybe we could try that. Hmm, well, let's see, maybe maybe I'll find, maybe we can stamp it on the back of this one. Okay, let me do this one first and then let's have a little fun and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I've got my, that was Call Me Clover ink and I'm gonna stamp my wishes right there. Okay, so that's it for the stamping on this. I am gonna do, just so I don't get distracted here, I have just a little strip of, what is this, crumb cake cardstock? And I'm going to use the pine cone in my chocolate, no, not chocolate chip. We don't have that anymore. Early espresso ink. Love, 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 love that. Okay, then let me just grab a little scrap piece of paper here. I'm going to put this in the corner here because I want to put a couple of these pine cones. Don't you love that? Oh my gosh. You can see the detail even better. Isn't that amazing? Like it, like it's almost like you want to touch it, like you can feel the texture on there, right? Do I have, I don't have any scrap paper, so we're just going to go for this. I'm going to use the back of this piece and let's see what we can do. So here's my Christmas. We're going to stamp that again in, what is that, Call Me Clover ink? Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to peel off, I'm just going to put that guy over there because I need my clear block. So let's see. I don't know, my thought was that it just kind of went right below it, Sandra. But let's see what we can do here. Okay. 
we put that guy in there. I got some early espresso ink. Okay. I know, I think it's beautiful with the pine cones too. Let's use, because I do need to stamp with my lemon lime twist so I don't forget that too. We're going to use lemon lime twist ink and we're going to stamp the little, it's kind of like a little mirror or shadow maybe. Ooh, or maybe you go right over top of it. Let's try a couple of things. I bet that's what you do, Sandra. You stamp right over top of it. And you can't even really see that. I think I should have done like a lighter color. Let's do this down here. I think you could do that too. So it's almost like a shadow. Can you see that? So if you stamped the wishes in lighter, you could stamp this right over the bottom like I tried to do, but you really can't see it because I, I should have stamped the wishes in Lemon Lime Twist. And then let's try it just for fun. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I do have my Simply Shammy. That's why I was trying to remember I had that. Okay, let's try it the opposite way. So what if we clean first, right? Let's get that all cleaned off. I always have to kind of stamp on something to make sure I got it clean. Okay, we're going to clean this one. How about, okay, so the wishes I'm going to do in Lemon Lime Twist. Okay, so let me make sure that's good. Okay, so we've got that one. This might not be the right color combination, but we're just going with it because these are the inks that I have. So then this is in the Call Me Clover. And as best as I can line up, this is when you probably really want your Stamparatus. Ooh, <laughs> that is cool. Okay, that's how it's supposed to work right there, Sandra. Oh my gosh, now I want to do that. We're going to do that on our card too. No, shoot. Well, all right, I'm going to turn that over. I love that. Okay, check this out. Here we go. Oh, I took my Christmas off. That's okay. We're going to do the wishes first. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is fun. I don't really do this on the fly very much because it makes me too nervous, but we're doing it, ladies. Okay, so there's the wishes. Then we're going to do this part. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it stamps as well as I did last time. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now I need to... What do I need? I need that one. Hold on. I got, got to... Where am I? Where am I? Okay, I'm going to peel this guy off, put him on here. I need my Christmas back on here again. Okay, so now I can stamp that in my early espresso. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay, that is cool. All right, Marianne likes both of the options. That was, yeah, just a lighter shadow. Yep, yep. All right, okay, I think you guys, let's see, I'm trying to scroll back through. All right, that is beautiful. Okay, sorry if it's bouncing a little bit. Yeah, okay, so sorry. I'm Okay, yeah, yeah, I was kind of out of view there too, but that looks very cool. Okay, yay, it worked. Shoo! Okay, the only other thing I need to do is stamp. Where is my other? Here we go, the leaf. We're going to stamp our leaf in some Lemon Lime Twist ink right on there. Okay, so that is all we need for our stamping. So let me get the ink out of the way okay and we're gonna do a little bit of die cutting we have to cut our leaf and our pine cone okay this and this and this all right gotta grab the big shot so i have my big shot with my let's make sure you guys can all see yep with my magnetic platform I've got one clear pad underneath and I'm going to have one on top and my framelits are not hiding from me. They are right here in front of my face. You guys have seen this too, right? The framelits are pretty awesome because they have two of these um, kind of pine sprig, pine bow framelits. So if you want to cut a bunch out and then the other leaf, they have two of those also. And then they actually have three of those little babies. So a lot of good some kind of duplicates, which I appreciate, you know, if you're making multiples of things. So we're going to cut our pine cone with our pine cone framelit and then our pine, I don't know, sprig, twig, whatever you want to call it with that guy. And the other clear cutting piece goes on top. Oops, and I moved them. And I moved them. Sorry. There, I think that's good. These are ones that, you know what, I think if they're not cut totally perfectly, it would be okay too. 
All right, let's scoot that one out of the way. And that guy out of the way. There. All right, we're in the big shot. Okay, I think we are ready to put things together. I'm gonna lay that right down there so I know what I'm doing. I need some snail adhesive. So let's put these things together. Okay, so we're just putting our Christmas wishes. Oh my gosh, that's really fun. Okay, then I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive behind both of these pieces of designer series paper. Okay, I'm like, oh, it's really quiet, but you can't hear anything <laughs> ever. It's funny how sometimes it strikes me more though that it's quiet. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there. We are gonna put this guy right about there. So you can see the lighter shades in the pine cones, I think are picked up then when you put it against the soft suede background, right? Okay, so this one just has adhesive as well. So we're gonna pop this one, the Christmas wishes. Oh, this is fun. Kind of has a whole different look to it now, doesn't it? So we've got that one there and then Let's see, did I just, I think I just put adhesive on the back of both of those too. Okay, so let's do that. Some adhesive there and some adhesive there. Okay, so we're just gonna put that guy right about there and that one there. And then I've already tied a little bow. I think I just had a little strip left. This is the, if you can see in the right light, the braided linen trim. So I'm just gonna put a glue dot behind that little bow and pop him on. Okay, let's see. And you guys know this is the easiest way, right? Just stick your ribbon, sorry, is that in view, right onto the glue dot and then peel it off. And it's like, uh, just so easy. There we go. Oh, Philomena loves them both. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they're both kind of fun, aren't they, right? Now that I'm looking, it's funny, I was trying to decide, do I like the darker, do I like the lighter? I think maybe I might like the early espresso better. That's my own personal thing. But I really do, I love, Sandra, I'm so glad you asked and that it worked too. I am off a teeny tiny bit there, but you guys can't see that way back there, right? So fun, fun, fun. And then this I used, I ran out of this, is the um, Call Me Clover, the little um, like one quarter or one eighth inch ribbon. Um, the in color ribbon, which you guys, um, let me kind of remind you that just popped into my head too. So this typically, the in color ribbon is only around or embellishments, they're only around for a year. So there's the ribbon in all five of our most current in colors. Am I going to be able to do this? Lovely lipstick. This is Call Me Clover, Blueberry Bushel, Grapefruit Grove, and Pineapple Punch. So this ribbon in all five of those colors will probably go away. So if you don't have enough of this ribbon to get you through, order that before the um, retiring lists come out so that it doesn't, you know, so you can get what you want. And Marianne, yep, you like the early espresso best too. I think I do too. But yeah, so fun choices there. Okay, so one card done. I love, I have, I just love playing with the new stuff. I think I've had so much fun kind of trying everything out. And I think I posted this online and I honestly can't remember if I showed it to you guys last week on Facebook Live, so I'm gonna show you again because I think it's so powerful. The stamp set is beautiful, but a little bit hard to tell how beautiful it is until you see all of the images stamped there. And then that's when you can see all of the beautiful detail. So the Painted Season stamp set. Yay, free with the $100 order. Okay, one more card. I'm trying to like get stuff out of the way. Too many things. Okay. Let me scoot that one out too. All right, I need a quick sip of water too. <laughs> All right, next card. Where can I put my tub? Okay, so look at this one. Isn't this so? So this is what this was our last make and take. And I loved that fold too. This kind of the layout here, I cased from Libby. I think she's at LibbyStamps.com, Libby Fenn. Let me make sure. Yep, Fenn's, F-E-N-S. So if you look her up, she had some really neat ideas. She's a very creative gal. But I loved kind of that, that this fold. I don't know, anytime you can do like a different, like a fun fold, I think it's fun to do that. 
Oh, I forgot to put this piece. That one's going to go on the inside. I might have to redo. I don't know. I can see through there, but I really feel like once I put it on my card, you wouldn't be able to see through it. But we'll worry about that later. Okay, so let me tell you guys about things on this one. So we used more of that. I cannot stop using. This succulent designer series paper is my absolute favorite. I love that paper. So this is on petal pink, like a petal pink card base. So let me show you or tell you about that. Okay, so here's our card base, our eight and a half by 11 card base, right? We cut it in half like we always do at five and a half inches. We scored it along the eight and a half inch side like we always do at four and a quarter. Actually, I'm gonna flip it this way because it's easier for me to remember. So in half at four and a quarter and then again in half at two and one eighth. So that's how you fold it in half like you normally would, right? And then this one just flips back like that. So that's basically the layout, right? Super simple and easy. Then we have our designer series paper. Like I said, I love these succulents. It's just beautiful. And then there's the back side with that um, petal pink designer series paper, right? So front and back. So both of these pieces are the exact same measurement and they are both one and three quarter. Um, yes, one and three quarter by five and one eighth inch is what I used on those, okay? Um, let's put those aside though. We are gonna do our stamping and punching and die cutting. So I have just a little strip, kind of a scrap of Whisper White cardstock. And let me get these things out here. I need that punch too. What are we using? Well, we're just gonna stamp, right? We're gonna use our stamp that says, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. All right, Kim, we'll catch you later. I'm glad you could watch most of it, right? So that is from the, my favorite, favorite, favorite part of my story stamp set. If you don't have this yet, put your $50 order and you can get this for free. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. That's the sentiment that I use on this one with our pool party ink, okay? All right, so always nice, easy, tap, 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 right? We're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. And that is awfully light. I'm gonna try it again. I think this might be an ink pad that needs to get re-inked. The fear though is I'm tapping, but I'm trying not to push too hard so that I don't get any ring around the rubber. There, that looks a little bit better. There, right? Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. Okay, so that one is good there. We are gonna punch it out right now with the new, this is the story label punch I love. Kind of looks like like a children's book maybe that's why story label right like a children's story i can see that image that shape on like a a children's book somehow okay so i'm just gonna work really hard to feel like i have that lined up where i want it i think that looks good okay I'm just gonna punch that baby out and pop him right there okay and then we need just a couple of framelits so I have a piece of, this is balmy blue cardstock and this is petal pink cardstock. So I'm gonna grab my big shot again and we are going to just put those over a little bit more. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put one piece there and one piece there and we have, these are a couple of different framelits. I am using the Stitched Shape framelits. It is a really cool punch, isn't it, Sandra? This is the, uh, yep, the second largest oval. So not the very first largest, but the second largest, okay? So that one's gonna go on my petal pink cardstock. And then I have my layering oval framelits that we're gonna use this baby right here. Almost doesn't look like they're all in there, but I'm pretty sure they are. They're just kind of a jumbled mess. So one, two, three. This is the third. Yeah, because that one's a little bit smaller. This is the third largest scallop oval punch in the layering oval framelits. Okay, so we're gonna put that one there and I think we're good to go. Okay, so put the other clear pad on top. Cranking our handle, wiggling the table. Here we go, and then we're gonna pop these guys out. Okay, scooting my big shot out of the way. What a beautiful day. It's making me 
This sun, I think we've had more of it around lately than we have in a, in a while, and it's kind of making me um, ready for spring. I don't know about anybody else. Getting very excited. It's a long ways off. It's still only February, so <laughs> only got a couple more months to go. All right, so let's see. On the kind of outside flap, we're going to put our succulent designer series paper right about there and then this one goes on this flap kind of right about there it's a little bit crooked maybe just a titch there we go okay I'm gonna press down firmly now here are all of my ovals i love this layering too okay so i just put some adhesive on the back of this guy so my petal pink stitched oval on top of my balmy blue scallop oval. Yeah, I need to stop being so anal, I think. Okay, that's good. Now I want some dimensionals on the back of my sentiment. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. Okay, we're going to just peel the backs off of these. Oh, Marianne's got to run. Okay, thanks for watching, Marianne. Say hi to your grandson for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day together. Okay, so I've got that. Now we are going to put a little bit more adhesive on the back of that. And you want to make sure, don't get adhesive all over here. You only want it on this side because you're just going to maybe do it about like that. I'm going to press very firmly. And then the last step, I'm going to grab the Take Your Pick tool. And I've just kind of been like wadding that up if I get more than I need. I'm going to take that. Oops. Is that going to work? No, maybe not. I saw someone, they were super adept at like just picking it up. I think maybe I have a little bit too much on here. I was trying to be too cool. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. So I've got that kind of stuck on the little glob. <laughs> okay, I'm not showing this as well as I could. Oh, well. Yeah, it's because every time, do you sight, do you guys see this? I ha have to figure out how to not um, crank that big glob out. Every time I pick it up, I'm like, where'd that big glob come from? Okay, well, there. So we're taking the glob off of the Take Your Pick tool. And there we go. I'm going to put that one right there. So there we go, ladies. I'm going to put that little guy back on there. And there is our next card. So how about those cards? Did you guys hopefully you enjoyed those? I think everybody really loved doing them who came to the Inkspired Stampers group gathering this week. We had lots of fun, as always, playing with the new stuff, right? This punch, the story label punch, is another one of those. I can't remember if I said that or not. But it's one that you're going to be able to order starting on March 1st. Unless you're a demonstrator, then you can order, order it right now. This is one of those coordination products. So... Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm trying to find all my cards here, right? So if you are new to Facebook Live, just make sure you know this, right? That if you put in an online order of at least $30 by next Wednesday, I'm trying to get those off so they stay in place, right? You're gonna get one of each of these projects that I demonstrated today and your name goes in the drawing to win wherever those framelits are. They're all buried, right? The Hop Around Framelits dies, okay? Make sure you use this host code, the ZZJYG9NU. And then you guys know this, right? If you order over $50, you always get a free embellishment from me and you get celebration stuff too. So thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. I hope the sun is shining wherever you guys are, or it will be soon if it's not right now. Hope you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed the projects. I hope you were inspired today. And we'll see you next Friday. Bye, everybody. Have a good week and weekend.